And the rain did come down hard and fast in parts of Citrus County, flooding streets, causing cars to stall. But as News Channel 8's Corey Davis explains, many people believe the rain is not the only thing to blame for this major flooding along US 19. People are constantly frustrated out here on US 19. One, because of all of the traffic, and two, the flooding. We're told that it goes, the water goes from the building here well into the middle of the road, all because of that construction over there. This has become the new normal along US 19 in Homosassa Springs. I had one of my customers, his wife was going up the road and she stalled in this in this puddle up the street here. She actually had so much water that it came in the back of her minivan. Bill Corade, a local business owner, says it's especially bad on 19 near Grover Cleveland Boulevard. I've been here 31 years, so I've seen it come and go. Um, from being two lanes to going to six lanes, it's a, it's a big change. And with that change comes construction, cones everywhere, lanes shifted, and more flooding. They took all of the old storm drains out, so there's no storm drains whatsoever in our area until they open them up and get this going. Mm. And I who, bet you can't wait for that. Who knows when that's going to happen? FDOT officials tell us the area would flood even before the project began. They're using temporary storm drains right now, but crews couldn't pump water out fast enough today, being pounded by several inches of rain. It's just nothing but water out in the first lane. Right now, Corade says he's losing more business with each flood. People around here tell us the construction is set to end sometime in the middle of next year. They hope that it runs on time so things can return back to normal. In Citrus County, Corey Davis, News Channel 8.